Welcome to Coreform Qubit Tutorials. Coreform Qubit includes powerful capabilities for geometry, preparation, and cleanup. In this video, we'll introduce you to some of them by using the command panel to mesh a complex volume that requires decomposition. To start the process, first you want to open or import your file in Qubit. Here is the file we'll be using today. You can download this file out of tutorials page on coreform.com. The first thing you want to do when meshing a new part is to recognize the small features or surfaces. Those can often stop you from completing a mesh, so you will need to clean them up. Meshing any new part requires some trial and error. For this model, I already know that this top cylinder will give us some issues, so I'm going to separate the volume first by applying a web cut. Follow along with my mouse to see how I do this step. We will be doing more web cuts later in this video. Now we will return to removing or fixing the small features or surfaces we've recognized. I recognize one, two, three, four, and five possible issues we need to address to get the best mesh quality. Let's start by removing this small circle surface. To do that, we will use the composite feature to combine the two shoulder surfaces with the circle surface. Make sure you are in the command panel, geometry mode, modify virtual geometry or modify geometry depending on your core form qubit software surface entity the composite option and now let's select all three of those surfaces click apply that looks like the only surface we need to composite so let's remove the small features on this part so you need to change to modify geometry surface entity remove option and make sure that the extend option is selected now we go through and click each surface feature and click apply you can see because we had the extend option selected it just remove the feature by extending the surface to meet the surrounding surfaces. Now we can move on to applying more web cuts to this volume to get it into a mesh ready state. Let's change to decompose geometry option and volume entity. Decomposing a volume using the command panel can sometimes require trial and error. You may need to practice the different options to be able to identify which type of cut will work best for you. Don't be afraid to try a few cuts and then press the back button if it doesn't give you the results you want. I'll give you an example of that now. You don't want that, so we're going to press the back arrow and try again. Since I have had some practice meshing this part, I know which web cuts need to be made. Follow along as I make these cuts. Because we have made web cuts in our volume, we need to imprint and merge the volumes back together so the mesh will match between the cuts. If we forget this step, our mesh will fail to connect between volumes, so it's good to get in the habit of doing that before we move on to specifying our mesh. Let's go to the imprint and merge operation, volume entity, let's type, make sure the vault imprint and merge option is selected and type in all for selected volumes and click apply. Now that the model is cleaned up and prepared for meshing and all cuts have been imprinted and merged, we need to define the factor we want in our mesh. Let's go to the mesh mode, volume entity, and we'll be using this first three action icons. Here in the interval action, we can choose the size of our mesh or use the automatic sizing, which I will use today. Select all volumes, apply size. Here in the mesh action, we can choose the mesh scheme type 
for each volume or use the automatically calculate which I'll use today since we have different sized volumes. Select all volumes, press apply scheme, and mesh. Congrats, you just meshed your first complex volume using the command panel. Now we can check the quality of our of your mesh by going over one more portal to the quality action. Make sure the quality metrics is selected. I like to use the scale Jacobian for my quality metric. Any preference can be used. Type in all to select all volumes and click apply. You can now see the quality of the mesh you generated. This highlights the areas that could benefit from altering the geometry or applying different web cuts to increase the mesh quality. And there you have it, you've successfully meshed a complex part using Coreform Qubit's powerful user guided command panel. More videos, tutorials, and webinars are available at coreform.com.